Greetings, my friends. Dr. Tony L. Fawcett here. It's been a while. The beard's grown a little bit. But, you know, today is the day of the event of the eclipse. And uh, I was watching some atheist channels and some Christian channels. They're all ridiculous on both sides. It's amazing how each one picks a, a certain angle on how to view what could happen with the eclipse. The so-called skeptics, well, let's go with the Christians first, the ones that believe in the rapture. They believe, I saw Buddy Brown, I think it's Buddy Brown, uh, that schemester, heister guy. I didn't know he was so indoctrinated or he's just using people. Anyway, it's a big chat, old Buddy Brown. I didn't think he was that bad, but when I saw him today on his live stream, promoting all this fear and, and doubt and indoctrination, I, I realized he's, he's, he's a one-eyed farmer or he's just completely pickled into indoctrination. He's, he's definitely pickled. Either that or he's just using. But anyway, then I see another atheist today. Uh, he's just blowing off the Christians like, you know, not, not, you know, blowing off, ha ha, you know, they think it's some catastrophe, like, and then Jesus is going to suck all the Christians out. They, these Christians are going to, they think they're going to be, ha ha, they ain't going to be taken out. But at the same time, I keep seeing these skeptics acting like, eh, it's just going to be a normal, playful event, you know, looking at it with sunglasses on the, Rooftops in the hills and the fields of grasses, kissing the one-eyed farmer's asses. But anyway, you know, buying the special glasses, you know. But, uh, anyway, uh, <laughs> ice cream, I need an ice cream coat. No, that's Joe Biden. Anyway, anyway, uh, I was saying was, so they think, like, nothing could ever happen. Now, you know, there's nothing that any circumstance hidden behind the scenes could happen. There's no, like, little wizard of elf guy there that could manipulate the weather during a time when people are looking over there or they're look, looking over here at P. Diddley. You know, or they're looking at the way Joe eats his ice cream cone and, and uh... Things like that. Hi, John. <laughs> Funny, John. But anyway, it's amazing how the skeptics immediately take a non-skeptic attitude. I mean, the Christians take an indoctrinated attitude. Because we know that Jesus, if he, if, he really, if he really got raptured, it would have happened a long time ago with his holy disciples. But the so-called skeptics, with all this so-called skepticism, you got science out there doing things. Science is so advanced, you so-called skeptics, it can see right through your pants. It knows when you're sleeping, it knows when you dance. And right now, you're blinded by science, and you're in a trance. So, you're no longer skeptic. Your minds are now septic. You've been in your bunkers eating data straight from the one-eyed farmer's ass too long. So, really, there are no true Christians, and there are no true skeptics. Very few. Very few. Anyway, I just wanted to say, we'll see what happens after the eclipse. We'll see if the Christians get raptured, and we'll see if nothing at all suspicious happens during the eclipse. And if there is, of course, the so-called skeptics will believe that everything was just, just totally natural and the warlords and the one-eyed farmers in different vicinities had nothing to do with it because they love you. They're all a bunch of grandfather and grandmother type philanthropists. Dr. Tony out. Elf.